Here we have a triangle ABC. We have BD, which is bisector of the side AC. Angle BDA is 45 degrees, and we also know that angle A and this angle DBC have the same measure X, and we ask to find that X. This is the third video in a series of three videos. In the previous two videos, I was solving the same problem using geometrical means, and this video is about trigonometry. So first of all, let's find out what this angle C is. We see this angle of 45 degrees is an external angle to triangle BDC, and therefore this 45 degrees equals to this X plus angle C. And angle C should be 45 minus X. The other thing we want to know is what this angle B is. Well, the angle B is 180 minus this angle and minus this angle. And that gives us 135 degrees. The next thing we need is law of sines. Law of sines says that the ratio of a side to the sine of the opposite angle should be the same for all the sides. Now there's an extra piece which is interesting that says that ratio is also equals to 2 times the radius of the circumscribed circle. That information is not really important for us now, but it's a useful thing to know. So let's apply a law of sines. First of all, we're going to apply it to big triangle ABC. What we find that side AC divided by the sine of the opposite angle, which is 135 degrees, should be equal to the side BC divided by the sine of the opposite angle X. And that's what we have here. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to apply law of sines to the triangle BDC. Here we have CD divided by the sine of this angle X. That should be the same as BC divided by sine of this angle, BDC. And that angle is 180 minus this 45, which is 135 degrees. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide the first equation by the second one. Notice on the right, BC and BC are going to cancel out. On the left, we have AC and CD, but we should know that AC actually 2 times CD, and therefore AC over CD will be 2. So if we divide first by a second equation, this is what we're going to get. Now we're going to multiply both parts of this equation by both denominators. And this is what we're going to get. The next step is to calculate sine of 135 degrees. First thing to note is that 135 is 180 minus 45. And the second thing we need to know that sine of 180 minus 45 equals to sine of 45, and that is 1 over square root of 2. Here I use the fact that sine of 180 minus any angle z equals to sine of that angle z. If you substitute value for the sine into this equation and divide equation by 2, we get sine square x equals to 1 fourth. That means sine of x equals plus or minus 1 half. But remember that x is angle in a triangle, and that's the angle between 0 and 180 degrees. But in that range, sine is positive, cannot be negative. So the only acceptable solution in our case is 1 half. But now, if sine x equals to 1 half in the range between 0 and 180 degrees, I actually have two answers. x could be 30 degrees or 150. To narrow things down, we need to look here. What we have here is an angle of 45 minus x degrees. This angle is positive, and therefore x has to be less than 45 degrees. So really, the range for x now is from 0 to 45 degrees. But in this range, there is only one x that satisfies this equation, and that's x equals to 30 degrees, and that's our final answer.